Yes, well, we've got a fantastic festival lined up for July. It's the middle of July, and we're hoping for some better weather this year. We've got a treat of opera, music and literature. So each evening we've got opera in the Opera House, music in the afternoon with concerts dotted around Buxton, usually classical music, but a bit of comedy, a bit of drama thrown in. And then in the mornings we've got a fantastic literary series with some really well-known literary figures coming to visit us. We've got Sherry Blair, Paddy Ashdown, uh, Shirley Williams, Gavin Esler, all sorts of people. A really great treat. And how significant is the Buxton Festival now to Buxton as a town? Well, it's one of the biggest festivals in the country, actually, which is remarkable for a town of just 20-odd thousand people. So we uh, reckon we generate about £4 million for not just Buxton, but for the whole region, right out, spreading right across Derbyshire. Right. Um, and how do you think this year's festival compare to um, previous festivals? Are you hoping to go one better? We're being worried, obviously, this year, because times are hard this year. So we had to decide a few months ago whether we could continue with our ambitious plans or whether we should scale down and do something a bit safer. But we've uh, really pushed the boat out with a fantastic programme. We've got three operas made just for the festival. We've got three other operas which are coming in to the festival audiences. And then we've got about 40-odd concerts and 40-odd literary speakers. So really, it's uh, a festival to be proud of, I think. Right. It's going very well, yes. I mean, we're not quite at the stage of doing rehearsals yet, but... For instance, tomorrow I'm, I'm going to do a rehearsal for a, a recital with one of the sopranos, and all the casts are, are booked and um, learning their music, and we should be ready to go in a month or so's time. It's wonderful to get local people involved. It's, uh, most of our audiences come from outside, but there is, there is no reason why everybody around here shouldn't enjoy this fantastic festival. There is so, so much variety now. Uh, the community stuff and the world music uh, and, and the operas. Everybody come and give, give the operas a try because what makes this town different from any other one of 20,000 people is it's got that fantastic, beautiful opera house. That, uh, I bet you know, a huge proportion of people in Buxton have never been inside. And it's, it's just a, it, must, you know, it looks gorgeous from the outside and it's just as gorgeous from, from the inside. And, and just, to, just to visit it, uh, never mind to, um, to come to performance, uh, you know, that should be fascinating enough. And does the, do you see this year an opportunity with uh, most of the recession um, taking hold and more people are going to be, um, well, it's said that more people are going to be holidaying at home. Do you see this not, as an opportunity to build on the success of previous festivals? Well we think it is. Our audience has been going up a lot over the past 10 years. In fact it's tripled during that time. And I think this year in particular we're noticing a trend that people aren't travelling abroad so much and people are perhaps going to be prepared to spend a bit more money in England and we're hoping to take advantage of that. One of the things we're particularly trying to do is to attract younger people to the festival. We've got a very loyal audience, but it's, everybody knows that uh, not everybody's as young as they once were. So this year we've uh, got a, an initiative where all the seats in the festival in June are going to be available at £5 for anybody under 30. So we're really trying to remove all the barriers that people might think there are to come into any of the festival events.